Hi guys and welcome to another 10 minute teach with Mr. A. In today's lesson we are going to look at inverse operations for addition and subtraction and how the numbers relate to each other. So we've got a couple of examples to have a go at later on. We're going to start with this first example and as always we've got our part part whole model and a bar model to help us. But first off, I just wanted to draw your attention to the little triangle over here. Now, I've got 20, 30 and 50. And I just want you to see the relationship between these numbers because this will make everything else make sense. Now, I can actually write out four different number sentences based on these three numbers. So let's have a quick look. So I'm going to start where my answer is 50. So 20 add 30 is 50. Let's write those down. Okay, and also 30 adds 20 is 50. Okay, so you can see that 30 add 20, the 20 add 30 make 50. Now then, let's see if we can write it in a slightly different way. So I can use this triangle to help me out with some subtractions for these numbers as well. So 50 take away 30. equals the 20. And also I have 50 take away 20 equals 30. So now I've got four different number sentences that relate to each other. And all we've done is switched around what we've done. So we've taken our answer and then used that answer to then subtract. And you can use this method to actually check answers that you do. So let's have a little go at this one. So I'm going to fill this one in first of all. So 8,421 add 7,694. So here we go. So I'm going to zip through this one for you. So 1 add 4 is 5. 20 add 90 or 2 add 9 is 11. So we carry the 1. 4 add 6 or 400 add 600. Well, we've got 10 add the extra one is 11. And then we've got 8 add 7 or 8,000 add 7,000, which equals 15,000. Add the extra one is 16,000. So 16,155. So we're going to use this to help us out filling in our bar model and our part whole model. So with a subtraction, you always start off with the largest number. So that's our answer, just like over here from our triangle that we used earlier. So here we are. So we've got 16,115. And we're going to be subtracting any one of these numbers and we should end up with the other one. So if I subtract this one, we should end up with this one. So let's have a little go at that. So 8,421. So if my calculation is correct, I will end up with 7,694. So let's see if Mr. Allen was right. So five subtract the one is four. One subtract two, I can't do. So I'm gonna have to borrow. That leaves that with no hundreds and 110 there. So 110 take 20, this is with 90. No hundreds take 400, I can't do, so I'm gonna have to borrow from there. Leaves it with 5,000, and we give that to that one to make it 10,000, and that is six, so 10 take away four, or 1,000 take away 400, leaves us 600. And we'll get rid of that one, because we have to borrow, okay, and we are left with 7,000. 694 and if you look actually i've checked myself there and it all works which is fantastic so a uh, big pat on the back to me because i got my answer correct so let's fill in these parts of our part whole model and our bar model so because we have the largest part 16,115, let's fill those in and then we've got the one that we decided to take away from it, which is 8,421. And we were left with our third number, which actually worked out very well, 7,694. So you can actually use that method to check any of your answers with addition and subtraction. Right, so let's have a little go at this one. So in addition, 
1. So we've got 1 add 8 is 9. 20 add 20 is 40. 400 add 600 leaves us with 1,000. So I put my unit down and carry 1,000 over. And then 3,000 add 2,000 add another 1,000 leaves us with 6,000. So let's make this a subtraction. So like we said, our largest number must come first, always in the subtraction. So we'll take that from our addition and put it at the top. And we'll start off with 6,049. There we go. And we are subtracting. Oh, I'm going to pick ooh, the middle number this time. So let's subtract the middle number this time. 2,000. 628 and if my working out is correct i should end up with that top number so let's have a little go so nine subtract eight leaves us with one 40 subtract 20 leaves us with 20. no hundreds take 600 i can't do so let's borrow from there 1000 take 600 or 10 take six leaves us with 400 and our final one it's looking good guys Five take the two leaves us with 3,000. So that actually matches that one. So my answer is absolutely correct on there. Fantastic. So let's try our second and final example. Here we go. So zero take eight, I can't do. So I am going to have to borrow. So that leaves us with there. And I have 10 take away eight now, which leaves us with two. 10 take 20, I can't do. So I have to borrow from 100 to make 110. 110 take away 20, or 11 take 2 leaves us with 9, or 90. 500 take 200 leaves us with 300. And 900 take 400 leaves us with, uh, sorry, 9,000 take 4,000 leaves us with 5,000. There we go. Fantastic. So let's pop that into our little inverse operation so because it's the inverse i'm going to add okay so let's see now then i'm going to have to because i know in an addition the largest number should end up being the answer so i'm going to add these two together and we know from previous videos if you've watched them that it doesn't matter what order you add the numbers in so let's get started with that so i'm going to take my four thousand two hundred and twenty eight and I'm going to add it to 5,392. And because I'm adding, I should end up with 9,620. Fingers crossed, guys. Give me a look. Let's see if I've worked this one out right. So 8 add 2 is 10. And we carry over the 10. 2 add 9 or 20 add 90 is 11 or 1, 000, what, sorry, 110. Add an extra one for 120. 2 add 3 is 5, or 2 add 300 is 500, add another 100 for 600, and 4,000 add 5,000 ends up with 9,000, and oh, absolutely perfect. So we've got that one correct as well. So I hope that was really useful in working out how to find the inverse of an addition or a subtraction. If that really helped you, then pop a comment down below and recommend any videos that you'd like me to do in future. Until next time, guys, class dismissed.